What up, yo? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh. It's your boy, that boy, Bari. Hey, man, I'm Jay Willow, the podcast killer, man. This is Willow Wednesdays. We are back. Uh, we are here. We are talking. Um, let us know how you feel about the conversation as we get into it. But right now, we are talking about certified lover boy. Oh, yeah. Light oh, skin yeah. assassin oh, yeah. Uh-oh. has dropped. Uh-oh. AKA the Waffle Boy. The king oh, man. of the Waffle Man. Yeah, the Waffle Boy? Wow. The, the king of he the Waffle never, Boys. He has never taken that moniker, bro. Like, he's never accepted the nah, Waffle nah, Boy. No, 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 no. Remember when Cheeks was at my crib, we was, we was watching the finals. He called all, no, all no, last game no, no. waffles. I know, but you call him the Waffle Boy. That's racist, bro. That's yeah. counter racism. Can That's black racist. People be, black people could be racist? That's racist, unless you're talking about, unless you're talking about Clay Thompson and. Definitely waffle boy. Can white can black people be racist? Yo, what are right. we talking about? Yo, can we go back to the shit? <laughs> Yo, everybody, everybody just had the hits blunt moment. I want to <laughs> right. So let's get back to it, man. We gotta discuss yeah, this, yeah, man. Yeah, Drake yeah, drop. Yeah, um yeah. since we uh since we know what happened as far as the outcome, he start he was he was starting to knock out uh Kind of a little bit, but mm-hmm. more than that, do you think it's worth it? It's a good album. Let's. We are not talking about the between the Kanye and Drake. I know ball. it's just, hard, but I got you. Let's, let's stay focused. Bring Kanye in. We talking about certified stay lover focused. boy, brother. Mm-hmm. All right. What you think? How did you like it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Were you fucking with it? Were you not? Did it hit anything for you? Did it do anything for you personally? Uh, do you like it? Who's going first? Uh, you can go ahead. Uh, for me, Bari. Um, I feel like it was a safe Drake album, mm. right? But that doesn't mean that I didn't. There wasn't things that I didn't like about the album. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying, but because it was safe, it was more so like a ugh, typical Drake shit. So because right. it was typical Drake shit, it was like, okay, this is I know it's gonna ring off in the summer or in the clubs. Oh, this is the. Afrobeat song that's gonna hit. It wasn't nothing special to me, so it was like, uh. But right. the songs that I did like, I loved. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The ones that I okay. really did like, I loved. So that's that's okay. the thing that solidified it for so me. Out of, out of 21, how many did you really did like? Like, how many? I'm do gonna you tell you right now. Them? Out of 21, because I just looked at it, I liked one. I was about to say, you got notes? No, no, I'm looking at the track list right now. <laughs> I damn near got notes on it. Yeah, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like nine. Like, and yeah, I how love. Many, I don't how know, many is I it? How many other tracks? Twenty one. Twenty one. Mm. And I loved nine. Love mm. nine. That's a little slightly under half. That's yeah. a lot. But the, yeah. But the rest of them is like. Uh, it's not like the songs were terrible, but it was just like, like I said, it was safe. But what I like the most about what everything is that he, all of the people he don't like, he was pretty much letting you know that he don't like you. And I, that's, a, that's a new thing for me with Drake. But Drake always, oh, I'll shut up. That Drake does, but he doesn't. This is one of the first times I've heard legitimately he was coming at Justin LaBoy. He was coming at Swiss Beats, Kanye, Pusha T. Uh, the, the his first grade teacher, uh, principal from junior high school, everybody he ain't like. He was telling you and letting you know he ain't like him. And I, mm. hip hop wise, I like that. Dame, how do you feel about certified lover boy, my boy? I didn't want us to have the same take, but I feel like we are. Hopefully, we don't. Um, because we talked about it a little bit. Um, so you know what? I go with my first. The first I, he don't got no real stories, man. Like, I don't believe none of these stories. I don't be knowing, you know, okay, what's going what on. Mean. I don't follow. Like, I don't I get, what you mean. get it. And so my first take, just like literally first listen, first I was really hyped, man. Um, shit, I, I was excited because I thought he was about to be on some change the game next level. But it's really not. It's, it's really yeah, just yeah. we it's do the... Album. The, like I agree with you. The 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 safe song. We know what song is what, and then each song you hear, you kind of feel like yeah, I heard this before. Like literally each song. 
doesn't mean that it's not good, but it's like I heard right. it before. Right. I mean, at this point, Drake is great, so he can always make good music. But, bro, you just keep giving us the same albums and honestly, you know, it's getting a little fishy, bruh. About you, sir. Yeah, go ahead, Willow. Uh, Dame with fucking spot on with me. Like, oh, shit. I just don't see any growth. Got you. And that's my own issue with CLB. Yes, I agree. This is Drake as Drake has been Drake. 100% of the time. It's Drake. Yep. It's good music. You don't get a good record. You gonna get a good transition there. Forty gonna do his thing on the beat. Right. Drake gonna come through with some vocals. It's gonna be huh huh uh huh uh like it's gonna be in the Drake range. He's gonna give us that. He's gonna give us the future. You know what's coming. He's gonna mm-hmm. give us the Afro beat. You know what's mm-hmm. coming. Like right. everything. It's like it's a fucking. It's a Broadway play, and everything that we expect, we're gonna get. Mm-hmm. Mm. I agree. And it was something you were saying earlier about. Um, I guess the focus of who Drake is talking, uh, Drake is talking to. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, Every I, I can't. I can't okay, okay, so music, music wins for the most part. Well, we're we're writers here, right? So music, you know, that wins is stadium music, um, music that a large audience at the same time can sing at the top of their lungs, but they will feel like the song's mm-hmm. about them only, right? So you need you need music that's extra inclusive, music that like everybody can fuck with for it to be a big record, so to speak, right? Mm-hmm. Drake's music and like especially his later projects, especially like everything after Views for me like started to blow him out a little bit. But his music is extra minute and to the the, the decibel about who he's talking to and who he's talking about and that one situation that happened last March. At nine fifteen a.m. at the coffee shop, like you have to be the eight people in the world who was there to know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get, I get, I get what you're saying. The, with mu- that. the, the I- music is not. It's it's not like, hey, put your hands up. One a.m. We was at the club. Two a.m. We were at the bar. True, what, what, but what I'm saying? like, it, it's it's real. Yo, it was raining last Thursday. You fell down. I picked you up. We looked at no, each other. Sure. It's, it's like it's real. <laughs> Talking to one person on earth. True, but no, it, it and you and you and in a sense, yes, you're right. He'll reserve that for for one specific person, but on this specific album, for me, maybe I wasn't paying attention to the others. On this specific album, from what I heard, he was addressing every single individual. They but like he always every, does no, that. no, but he'll always reserve it. He'll reserve an album. He'll just one off you with a half a bar for you for you. you know what I'm saying, but this so one, he, he legit does that. Bro, listen, hear me. But for me, I'm just talking about for me. I specific, I felt right. like he was, he was purposely like, no. Now I'm letting you know because I'm of this stature and I am Drake. Don't fucking play with me. The nigga said I will put you. I'll put you on a will. The nigga when the nigga tell me he gonna put me on a gilded t-shirt, I take that serious. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Bro. Maybe no. Maybe I got the. Maybe I have your point. Maybe I just I got one point. vocal. I, I don't even want to talk. I just want to say a rap line. Hmm. I'm just hitting my pinnacle. You and Pussy identical. You like the fucking finish line. I can't wait to run into you. Drake has been doing this to artists for years, bro. Yeah, but it's... Let me out. I'll let you talk. And the whole time you were talking, I just had this one rap lyric in mind. What I what I mean by there's no growth and this isn't a different Drake is because we've seen this before. I agree. Really, he took, I agree. One, he took right. one song and addressed one artist. He took one verse and addressed um, Swiss Beats. He took one little excerpt and addressed blah blah blah. He does that with every record. This is nothing different. I agree. I agree. Wait, I, I agree. I, I'm not. I'm not. Give me. Give me one second. Give me. Well, all right. I guess you got to respond. Because <laughs> I'm I, saying it's I just. Never got I, to. I agree. No, well, uh, and I'm and I'm done after this game. I it, I agree. There was no growth. That's why I said it's. I feel like it's a safe album. However, yeah. for me right now, especially maybe I didn't explain myself for fully, but in terms of hip hop right now, I feel like. I haven't heard anybody legitimately come at somebody the way they, he did in a while besides Kendrick because Kendrick is that type of a rapper. And that's the next person I feel like he was coming at in the, in this album as well, even though people are secretly saying that they don't have beef. I'm going to put air quotes behind that. But 
you missing a lot of hip hop if you think this is the last time that somebody came at somebody. But I'm else. I'm to, I'm talking about in the way that he delivered it. I'm like, okay, no, I like. You're, I, you're, you're missing a lot of hip hop. Right, but but it, but you got to also understand a lot of hip a lot of music comes out, and I don't catch we. I personally don't catch everything. I don't catch everything. But what I am saying is in the way that he said it, and the things. And how he delivered it, I like how he delivered it. I'm not saying that other people don't do the same thing in terms of, yo, I don't fuck with you. You're probably mm-hmm. right. But the right. way he delivered it, I haven't heard that in a while, and I liked it. Maybe well, that's what it is. All I, I want to say is, um, I, I do agree with both of you. Seriously, Drake always comes at people kind of blindly. You never know what's happening. But the one thing that I do notice about Drake is if he's going to mention your name, he's going to mention your name. Just like any rapper would. So like I don't I don't have a problem with him saying blah blah Charlemagne or blah blah Swiss beats or blah blah whatever. I have a problem with all of these girl songs that literally is a specific day, like Jay said earlier. Like, bruh, you talking about November twenty sixth in two thousand and twenty nine for forty five minutes and you got me listening to a whole song about this and I'm supposed to care? Mm-hmm. I don't care, fam. I get that's you and I understand. I do. And get so what it's you're weird. Saying. It's weird to me because. Oh, all of these songs are very complicated conversations and I just, I'm not, I'm not in on the conversation. <laughs> so I kind of feel like, why are you trying to bring me along the ride? You ain't tell me. That, that's what I was, that's what I was trying to say about yeah. it. It's literally the same thing that I was thinking the first time I heard Drake and Bria's interlude is really a conversation between him and somebody named Bria. So yeah. he's really showing us that, Hey, I'm going to put on music about some real life shit that has happened between me and individual or individuals. And I get that. But yeah. all these stories, they, it's, it's a 13-tier cake. It's so many sections and subsections and shit that's happening and emotions that's happening. And we sitting here listening to all these emotions and all these lines. And I'm on your ass like back pockets and like, whose ass am I on? Right. I don't know who <laughs> Why about. my pockets? <laughs> it's starting it start to turn into a very musical Frank Ocean. Bro, it's a fucking, it's a soap opera and I'm trying to figure out who I'm supposed to be following. <laughs> Right. What's happening? Who said what? When did they say it? Why am right. I saying mm-hmm. Why am I in Marvin's room right now? Like, I don't know. I'm trying so to I got, figure out how to follow so, the story. is always so, there. So, I, so to end it, so, so to end this segment, right? To end this segment, let me, let's act, let me go around the, the Oh, let's the do the, screen. yeah, what, what do, do we do? Out of 10, what do you rate it? Willow, talk to me. Who out of 10? Oh, hey, out of 10. This, okay, this is a new thing. Because we do, we do the five. Right. Well, we also do music videos. This is whole albums. Okay. Ooh. Out of ten. That's what I'm saying. To make it even, it, it's CLB, easier when you, out CLB out of ten. I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, Dame, talk to me. Uh, uh, a four. Wow, less than half. I was gonna. I was gonna say a five. I'm gonna give only because. So out of, oh, out of yeah. there's 21 songs. You like 11 of them. That's what you're telling I, me. I could probably do 11. Okay, because you know you always got the ones that that you catch on to later. I give it about a, I give it a five, five and a half. Five, five and a half. Up, oh, it's going up. Uh oh, five and a half. You got to pick one so we can do the numbers, bro. Um, he said four. I I'm said gonna say five. five and a half. I would give it a five and a half. So five ooh. and a half out of ten. Five, yeah, that's ten and a half, and then I gave it a what? Four. Four. So fourteen and a half divided like by four eight. Four eight. Something yeah. like that. Like four, seven, four, eight. I did my numbers wrong? 4.9. It's 4.9. Oh, my God. Eight. That boy be... Don't nobody ever listen to me. <laughs> you, got math, you got your math, cuz. You got your math, yeah, Every sure. week. I say it. But once again, like <laughs> I said, the, but here's the thing. Drake is going to... Because he's Drake, a lot of the songs that we may not even like, because it's going to be force-fed to us, we're going to end up singing and loving. Yeah. That's just the that's way. Why I it, that's why I gave it a few more. I disagree, and that's the reason why I love having this show with y'all because we can talk about the shit, and I don't feel our opinions get swayed. I, well, I hope our opinions don't get swayed like that. All right, so then I got one question just to prove this point, and then yeah, I swear to God we can bounce. Mm. You said you didn't like the too sexy song. I hate. That. I, how do you feel it? You still hate it. I'm that just song is trash. That shit is stupid. Wait, matter of fact, no, we're here. We, I'm sorry, we're fucking you. You did this, Dame. You did this. That too sexy song is boo boo. You like the video, bro? the The video was funny. It was entertaining. I get it. He pulled the Eminem. I I, I, don't know. Video and song. You don't think it's gonna work? But but one thing that Drake does very well, and he's he's not ever hid this from us. He's an actor. Mm -hmm. 
That's course. what that video was for. That's what in, in that career, video was for. In career and in life, Drake puts on great performances. Mm-hmm. Great performances. And that music video was a great performance. It was great. It was funny. No, it was. It was. It was. It was, it was really good. But that's yeah, what the song is trash. I'm sorry. That, that, you know, okay. that, sample, that sample was disgusting. And every time I hear it, it's still disgusting. Mm-hmm. You're hoping that Future could save it. He couldn't save it. It was bad. Nope. Okay. Young Thug. Oh, terrible. Like, it was bad. It's a bad song. That song is not good. We can't sit here and say that song is good. No, no. That song (laughs) is bad. So, I agree. Okay, I agree. But I just want to make sure because... And and the only reason... I hate all the 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 program directors. I hate all the the, the fucking... The people who, who... who picked the top 40. Because you Drake. know what's coming next. Because Drake is about to slap for the next six, seven months on Too Sexy. Right. And Wade, like you said, Wade, Mari, told me, Wade told me already that um, DJ Envy already said that the song is already hitting off in the club already. He, no. DJ Envy literally said every club in NYC was playing that. Which you don't know. He ain't been to everyone, but that's what he was saying. He said it was a hit of the weekend. It's I, don't, I don't get it. No, I, I do get it. It's Drake. I get it. I, I get it. Do I agree with it? No, because that song is trash. Let's just say, let's just say, little, little, little blah blah from East New York came out with Too Sexy. You yeah. did not, you did not oh, oh, Wade, 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 Wade made an even better point. Wade said, "If well, let's let's replace Drake with not let's just say little blah blah blah. Let's say Drake. That song was made by Wale. Let's go ASAP Rocky." We could go yes. whomever you fit. We could go ASAP Rocket. We could go Wale. We could go fuck it. J. Cole or Kendrick. Invert those people no, who can. No, J. Cole and Kendrick could pull it off. J. Cole and Kendrick. I have a problem here with the masses listening to programming and then saying it's hot. When we all heard Too, too Sexy, we was not like, oh, this is fire. <laughs> Niggas did not say that. No, are you right? Because that shit was no, crazy. That shit sounded but, nuts. And, and what's going to happen is four months from now, this is you what see I'm what's saying. happening now. Four months from now, it's going to be these shit. But this so is what I'm were, alluding to. Right, yeah. It's, it's going to... But it's cool. Saying, if, if you're saying if Wale came out with that record, if it was trash to me, I don't care. I'm saying it's boo-boo. Like, this record don't hit. Remember, yo, Willa, remember we were on vacation... All of us as friends, we went... When we went on vacation to DR, and mm-hmm. what Drake song was it that we all hated, but they played this shit so much in DR to the point where we were singing along with the song, and you like, hey, wait, yo, what the fuck? Like, why am I singing this song? This song is trash. But every time they came on in the playlist, it's the, was, it, it was that bum ass. I'm upset. Yes, I'm upset. Twenty thousand dollars. That song was trash. But they played it so much. As soon as it came on, we started singing it. Why? Because they they force fed it down your your throat. Pause until the program. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that's about to happen with Too Sexy because that record is trash. Right. The video so is record trash. Here's what I think we should do. Y'all all think this song gonna be a hit? Uh, it's, it's, hit, hit. It's, it's numbers Drake's wise, bop. yes. Numbers wise, it's, absolutely. It's, it's Drake's bop. He has one bop on the record. It's, all right, yeah. cool. So let's circle back, and you know what I'm saying, a couple weeks or so, or just see what happens. Like, cause that'd be cool to see if it was a flop or if he had the, you know, it just came out, so we don't know yet. I, I wanted to do the too sexy video reaction. That can come. All right, well that could be next, man. Yeah. yeah. Once yeah, 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 yeah. I think we spoke about CLB till it's fullest. Uh, hopefully, we will be with a 4.9 out of 10. Perfect. Yes, yeah. 4.9. Yes, That's everybody hit the, hit the subscribe <laughs> button, like and share, tell a friend, tell a friend. Disagree. Put a comment if you agree with us, you disagree That's with us, so. if you don't like us, if Dame look ugly, if Willa got a big ass head. And Yo, chill bring out. I'm, I'm, to I'm wild sexy because I know what you're talking about. You feel heard me? It, I heard I'm it. Cool. Only your mama love your face. I have no clue what you're talking about, man. I'm out here. See you next week. But we love y'all. Peace out, y'all. Gang. Gang. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.